Oh yes, it's Nick's shell. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at a recent Facebook feed to, to look at how I'm perceived by classmates that I graduated high school with who are also the same age, nearing age 36. It's very, it's very educational. It's very unexpected, really. So here's what I want to do. I want to take you uh, to a Facebook group that, that's my high school group. Um, we have a Facebook page. And in there, I decided to put, post the video I did. Did you see the video? You need to. You, I think it's very interesting and important as if you're a subscriber that you watch the video. But it's called To the, to the People I Graduated High School With. So I did that, I think, last week, the week before. And uh, it's been getting some good views despite, you know, not being about hair loss. And it definitely doesn't talk about hair loss at all. What's interesting is the comments. Once I put it on, on the Facebook page, I started looking at the comments that I was getting. And I'm because I have a cool camera, I can turn off selfie mode and kind of show you what I'm looking at. And then I'll, I'll turn this back on. Here we go. So I'm now going to show you what it looks like uh, on here the what I saw. Okay, so here's where I posted the video. All right, January 7th. Okay, so that wasn't that long ago. And so this the first comment says, I'm jealous of your non receding head of hair. So I, right away, that's the first comment. Again, there's no mention of hair in this video. But that's the first comment anyone makes. I'm jealous of your non receding head of full hair. Okay, he made that choice. To my knowledge, the only way he could know I talked about receding hairlines is to have kept watching past that video and looked at other stuff. And it's possible, but he doesn't indicate that. He doesn't mention anything about that. So and then, he, of course, he made a, a funny meme or whatever. It just took a, a very awkward-looking picture to which I, I told him it reminded me of Scar from The Lion King. But ultimately... As I scroll down here, I saw another one of these comments, and here it is. Awesome video. Thanks, man. Also jealous of the full head of hair. Look great, man. So there it is again. Jealous of the full head of hair. I mean, and then I go down a little bit more, and then people are starting to read those comments, and then they're mentioning, talking about their hair, hair as well. So, okay, so now I'm going to take it off the selfie mode very awkwardly okay there we go but it's just interesting to me that the okay now the blurs are with okay it's just interesting to me that like keep in mind if you knew me in real life you'd have the only way you know about these hair videos is if you know you knew that i made a youtube channel and if if you're very close to me, then you already know I do. But if you're very close to me, you're not watching this video. Because people who are close to me and know about these videos don't actually watch the videos. <laughs> Only people I, who I don't know in real life watch my videos. That's, that's how it is. So again, it's just very interesting that I made a video that specifically wasn't about hair loss. It was just about me, you know, catching up with my classmates. And I'm going to put this back on the printer here. So I'm going to look at like the weird hunched over position there. But anyway, there we go. So I just found it to be very interesting though that the the conversation immediately resorted to that even if the first guy did know that i talked about hair loss in other videos even if he stayed around to watch more still that was the first thing that was said and even today in one of my videos i noticed someone commented they said you have a lot of hair for someone your age so you know in april i'll be 36 so i'm over 35 and a half at this point and it, I think that's another perception thing. Like just the video yesterday where I talked about how what constitutes is a full head of hair. Ultimately, it, it is a per, it's the other people's perception of that. So, but apparently there are people from my class of 183 people that notice that. Like that's so interesting to me because I wouldn't, I mean, in that perception, I have a non-receding head of hair. And I'm thinking... If only he knew, if only he watched my other videos, uh, you can clearly tell that I do. But, you know, now that my hair's a little bit longer and apparently I'm using rosemary oil and it's causing my hair to have more volume. Even on a day like today where it was really windy and I haven't fixed my hair at all or put anything in it. This is, this is uh, very thoughtless is what this is. 
So it was just fascinating and interesting that like that's how I was perceived in that in that video as someone who has a non-receding full head of hair. So it just I guess because I'm so self-aware of of my hair, like the hair loss I've experienced so far because I have to 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 make this channel, but it was just it was a very interesting thing for me. It, it was very surprising to me. Because like from everything I know statistically, about a third of guys my age have lost their hair. That's one third. That's ultimately the minority of the whole group. So that means the majority either have nearly all their hair or at least most of their hair. And for me, I'm in the category, I still have most of my hair, but it's perceived that I have a non-receding head of full hair and that people are, and that more than one person said they were jealous. Now, of course, it's all lighthearted Facebook comments here, but um, I was like, man, I just wanted to share that with everyone who subscribes and watches my video just to, uh, to share in that moment with me because I really was not expecting that. I mean, it, I think it'll be especially interesting for you too if you're younger than me, I mean, and, and you, if you go to your class reunions and, and if that even comes up, like, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the guys that go bald early will say, you know, Hey, look, I went bald, you know, make a joke out of it, whatever. But, but it'd be weird. Like, so come, coming up next will be my 20th, uh, high school reunion in 2019. And, you know, assuming I still have comparable amount of hair, so that means I'll be one of the guys that still has, you know, most of my hair. I'll actually be that guy because you know me, you know, okay, I'm tired of sitting awkwardly, but you know me, like I never intended to have this much hair when I was this age. I, I never thought I'd make it here. I thought I'd be the guy with no hair on top because that's what I grew up believing. That's what I grew up seeing. So I, I just never expected this, but you know, Ultimately, I don't know how it actually makes my life better. It's convenient and it's nice to have more hair, but ultimately, my confidence doesn't come from my hair. It comes from, you know, believing that I can accomplish things with or without hair, you know, <laughs> ultimately. And, and, I, and I've mentioned this before, but I think one of the things that helped me with this early on is when I began accepting in my early 20s that I wasn't going to grow any taller. I know this sounds non sequitur, but ultimately when I realized, because when I was in high school and I was five, nine, because I stopped growing when I was in eighth grade. And so, you know, my friends were growing 5'11", six feet, over six feet. And I'm like, when, when am I going to grow? When, when is this going to happen? And then I, like, that was when the internet, because when I was, you know, 20, the internet was still new. Like I turned 20, uh, you know, a couple months before the September 11th bombing. That's, that's my, so the internet was still very new. So I was searching on the internet and reading, oh, you know, there's, there's guys that some, some actually don't finish growing until they're 20, 21, some even 25. So like, yes, yeah, okay. I, I can still grow to maybe be six feet. It's, it's possible. And in the years that followed that, and I didn't grow anymore, I, I had to begin accepting that I would be a guy that's five foot nine, which isn't, explicitly short but it's it's definitely not tall and i think i wanted to feel more normal by being six foot tall or 5 11 at least i wanted i wanted that like so badly and at the same time my hairline was already starting to recede like that was going on but i cared more about the height thing than i did the hair because i knew the hair was coming it was so well ingrained in me that i would be losing my hair as i got older that I was more worried about my height than my hair. So I know that sounds funny, but that had a lot to do with, with preparing me for this. So again, full circle and uh, full circle is that I'm just shocked by this. I'm amazed that, that I'm currently a guy with a full head of hair or that's perceived that way, you know, knowing everything you, you, everything I knew in my head and my brain about what my life would be like in my, my mid thirties. I wasn't expecting this, so I thought that's absolutely worth sharing with, with you. This is my journey, my narrative, uh, in which I talk about hair, and you get to know me, almost like a real friend, because we spend, what, 20 minutes a day together, as far as you hearing me talk about this stuff and then commenting back, so, I mean, again, compared to a real friendship, there's a good chance you know more about me than people you call your actual friends, that you 
see me more than your actual friends and, and some family members. So I thought, you know what, this is definitely worth sharing and you'll, you'll watch it even if you have to put it on the double speed. So there you go. That's what I wanted you to know. I've been looking forward to making this video and sharing this with you. Thanks for watching my video. My name is Nick Shell, and I don't know anything about hair loss, but I talk about it a lot anyway and people listen.